able to join to join Rick. But there was a girl there that uh, that I really kind of fell in love with, and when I found out that I would be taking off on this tour, I told her about it. And you know, you can't expect somebody to wait for you for two and a half years. And so she she was smart. She just cut it like that, and I was like, nope. And so I was playing a song uh, by Lee Rittenauer with Eric Tag singing. Uh, I, I forget the name of it, but uh, it was that kind of a poppy song, but it was really heartfelt. The singer was really great, so that, that's, I don't remember the name. But, but it brings up a good point, you know, the value of music. Every time there's an important part where your heart matters, music's involved. And, uh, you know, I, I still agree that uh, to myself, I, I, I see people line up in Vancouver at Starbucks to pay five bucks for a crappy cup of coffee. And so hopefully someday they'll realize that music is that important to do. Because if you did take it away, it'd, it'd be, after a week people start going, something's wrong, but I'm not sure what, right? So even at your wedding, you have music, so. So I'm gonna start off with a tune um, and talk about that Hanson tour for a second because there were some amazing times there. And, uh, and uh, I remember uh, about 2006, uh, a director called me up and he said, uh, Dom, we're, we're making this movie, and uh, we got Victor Webster playing Rick, we got Andrew Lee Potts playing you, and, uh, and his sister, Sarah Lee Jean Potts, playing Amanda. So those are the, the primary three characters, plus a, a guy playing his cousin, Lee. So I was really thrilled about this, because I got to go back to China and kind of be an advisor for the movie. Unfortunately, it um, ran into some political problems, but you can find it online. It's called heartofadragonmovie.com. It's by no means a blockbuster, uh, but it's a good people story about everybody overcoming their own personal hurdles to help a guy get to the top. So anyways, I got to go on the wall and I, and I wrote this song, which you're gonna hear in a minute, but I think back to the early parts of the tour when we were all simulating living in confined quarters in Rick's little tiny apartment. And, uh, and I, like I said, I just got off the studio and so I was saying to Rick, I said, you know, we should have, we should have a theme song for the tour. And he said, um, well, yeah, who should we get? Now, I was a studio guy, so David Foster had just produced that Double Earth, Wind & Fire album, which is amazing, right? I said, I just jokingly said, David Foster. And he goes, who's that? And I said, well, he's blah, blah, blah. He said, okay, let's get him. <laughs> and I, like, should I call Madonna too, Rick, at the same time? But to know Rick's to love Rick, because he, he just doesn't know the walls are there, right? And so after one thing led to the next, he got me to do something which is really uncomfortable. I went to talk to this person. They just happened to know David Foster. So here we are. We're rolling into Santa Monica. We're coming down a hill. And this car pulls by us. One of these big sort of open, like, uh, cat Cadillacs, not cat, but just big giant cars where the top rolls down. <laughs> and lots of people liked it, but they're, I think they're really, well, scary, big, looking, ugly cars. So, and he's looking at us a little bit longer than normal. And so Rick's looking at me, and I'm looking at the guy, and I'm looking back at Rick, because who's that pervert, man? I don't know. And so the guy finally takes off, goes around the corner, and as we now come down around the corner, there's the guy parked, and he's waving at us. And Rick's looking at me, and I go, I don't know. And as we get closer, I go, that's David Foster. He goes, who's that? I said, remember the blah, 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 blah? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, let's go talk to him. So we had a, a ch quick chat with him, and he said, uh, he said, you guys, come on down to the studio. We're, we can, I'll show you, because we're working on the St. Thomas Fire soundtrack. And, uh, so we, uh, we go to the studio, and, and I'm just like, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> and there's some of the guys from Toto working in there, and I'm just like, I can't even believe I'm even here more. And so I'm out in the studio, and, and Rick's on his braces, because he's standing up to, to stand on the braces, and he goes, and uh, Foster comes into the studio and says, Don, come back out to the control room because I've got a phone call coming in for Rick. And so and we're going to put it over the speakers. So sure enough, the phone call comes in and Foster answers. He goes, Rick, Rick, Rick Hansen? He goes, yeah, 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 he's right here. And Rick goes, what? Passes him the phone. Now, if you were from planet Earth at that time and you heard this voice talking at him, you'd go, that's... But Rick is the athlete who's <laughs> living in athlete world goes, who is this guy? So he's kind of he's looking at all of us and finally goes, who is this? And the guy goes, it's Lionel Richie, baby. <laughs> and, so, and so we're like, uh, we're so embarrassed for him, right? So, so then it was time to leave. It was an amazing, amazing thing. And, but as we're leaving, 
uh, Rick, Rick is always about honoring people and stuff like that. So he said, Don, Donnie, we gotta, we gotta leave Foster something. And I went, what, we don't got anything. Now, we, Nike was one of our sponsors, as well as McDonald's. And I, you guys probably remember seeing us all with the Nike uniforms with a little McDonald's logo on it. That McDonald's thing was great. They gave us a McDonald's. Like, Rick's got a lifetime card to McDonald's. <laughs> but mine lasted to the end of the tour, which really sucked. But it was nice to kind of walk in with your little like, personal like, you know, passport with your name on it. Because they thought you were really special at McDonald's to have one of these cards. So, so, so anyways, Rick said, well, let's leave a uniform. And I'm going, uh, and I'm going, yeah. And I said, but we don't have a spare one. He said, well, we'll take one of ours. And he's looking at mine. <laughs> That's, you have to, once you've been knowing Rick, you kind of know how he has his tactics. And then, he, and then I'm, like, I'm not willing at this point. And so we play the dreaded rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Historically, I had never won one rock, paper, scissors with him. Today was my day. I won round one. And Rick goes, come on, best of three, eh? I win the best of three. He goes, come on, best of five, eh? And I go, should I just give you my, no, no, let's do the best of five. So I win the best of five, so Rick has to forfeit his tracksuit. So we go out to the parking lot where we have the suburban vehicle that we kind of came in. So this is how it looks from there. So. Vehicles behind me, parked this way. There's a back end, there's a park parking lot. Studio's over there. Rick is kind of leaned up. Well, I'll do it this kind of, kind of this way. So he's leaned up against the vehicle like this, and it's on his braces, and he's taking off his jacket. And I'm down in front of him on my knees. Holding <laughs> <laughs> his pants down. <laughs> Because how else was he going to come over his braces, right? And then Foster walks around the corner. He goes, Hi guys, I'll see you later. And now remember, this is back in the 80s, right? And, and Rick and I are just, we couldn't even get a word out. We're just horrified. And he just actually, he actually starts <laughs> falling. <laughs> crashes down on top of me. And, and then we kind of look at each other and we just don't even talk. We know that we know we have an action plan to get in place. So we start ripping off his uniform and I go running after Foster. Foz, Foz! He turns around and he's like, yeah? So, <laughs> this is for you. Uh, ah, okay. So he said, uh, keep your ears, boys, open. We're going to have a hit song for you. Uh, and so that's history after that. Woo!